What's going on everyone? Welcome to the final video of this little mini series where I take you through my 531 workouts and I show you my progression on all four of the lifts. If you guys like these videos, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, like the videos, leave a comment below, and let me know if you like where I talk to the camera directly rather than do the voiceovers while I'm lifting. Also, if you haven't seen the previous three videos on the 531 little mini series, I recommend going back to that because I do add a little bit more insight into my, my beliefs behind it and how I'm running the program. So it'll make more sense if you watch the first three videos before you watch this one. So in this video, I'm going to go through the overhead press, which unfortunately is the one lift that I just, I'm very frustrated on and I can't increase at the same rate that the other lifts are increasing on. My very first week on 531 on the overhead press, my one rep max was 165 and on my AMRAP set on that top set I did 125 for seven reps. We'll skip ahead to week 25 because that's that was actually the random page I turned to in the last two videos so just to keep it consistent we're gonna go to week 25 on overhead press. On week 25 on overhead press on the AMRAP set I got 155 for six so 125 for seven to 155 for six that's actually pretty good. I'm not, I can't complain with that. It's about a 30 pound increase on the amount of reps that I can get. However, I did test my one rep max uh, about 37 weeks into the program, like I tested everything else, and I got 185, and that was my max. So I went from 165 to 185 in terms of a one rep max increase. So it's not too awful. However, I'm not really satisfied with it because as you'll see in the video today, my top set I do 165. And I also did 165 um, as a top set previously, several months ago. And you'll see in the video, I'll discuss in the video, but I got less reps with the 165 today than I did previously. So it is a difficult lift for me to increase on. I do talk about that more later on in the video. Everyone does have that lift that just seems to not increase as fast as everything else. Overhead press is that one for me. It's partly probably because shoulders are a relatively small muscle group. And also I have problems with the form. I'm just not as comfortable with the form as I am with the other lifts. So enjoy the workout. Let me know what you think. And like I said, please let me know any feedback on this little mini series if I should do stuff like this in the future. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So it's my overhead press workout that I'm gonna take you through today. Uh, it's a 5-3-1 week, so my first set, I'm going for 75% of my one rep max, which is going to be 130 pounds, just gotta do five reps. After that set, we're gonna move on to 145, where I have to do three. And my top set of the day, it's going to be 165, and I'll take you through that now. So that was my first set, 130 pounds. Um, so the first set is pretty easy. I mean, overhead press in general, I find it very, very difficult to increase. This is the one lift that I really struggle to increase overall since I started 531. I'm always messing around with my form. Uh, I try, I've gone wider, I've gone narrower. Whichever one I do, I just seem to keep switching back to the other one because I just, I'm never that comfortable. One thing that I'm trying to do I'm trying to keep my elbows tucked in more. I have a tendency to flare them out, and I still, I'm, I could tell in this set, I still flare them out. My max has increased, however, it's really stalled lately. So this is set two. I'm going for 145 just for three reps, and then we'll go into the AMRAP set. So set two went pretty well. Now we're gonna go into 165 for my AMRAP set. The most they've ever gotten on this is five reps. However, that was a while ago and I haven't really been able to beat that recently. So five reps I'd be thrilled with right now, but I think four is a little bit more realistic. So 
So that AMREF set was a little shaky. I got four reps, which is kind of what I was expecting. I was hoping for five, but like I said, it was a while ago since I got five, and I wasn't expecting that today. I did try to move my grip in narrower the last couple weeks, and I felt a bit shaky on it. But I feel like if I go narrow, it'll allow me to keep my elbows tucked in more, which is something I'm working on to engage my lats. So now we're going to move into my joker set. It's only a five pound bump. That's the benefit of having such a low one rep max. A 5% increase is only five pounds in this case. So I'm going to go for 170 for one rep. And then we're going to back it down to the 130 that I did initially. I won't use the belt for that set. And we'll do as many as I can do. So that concludes the overhead press workout. As I discussed during the workout, overhead press has just always been a lift for me that I just can't seem to progress on. Whereas all my other lifts, as you saw in the previous videos, I have made pretty good progress over the months that I've been on 531. Overhead press, although it's increased, it really hasn't increased lately. I do seem to try to alter my form very often on it. For example, when I hit 165 during the summer, I was going a little bit wider and now I try to move my hands in narrower because I'm trying to use my lats a little bit more to engage them at the bottom of the lift but it's just not working for me my elbows seem to flare out and the overhead press is just one of those lifts for me that I just can't seem to increase on I hope you guys enjoy these videos where I show my progress on 531 since I began it just keep in mind that although strength is one of my goals right now my primary goal is still to stay as lean as possible and I'm not trying to gain any weight so it is more difficult to gain strength while doing that whereas if i was bulking and trying to add as much size as possible and i was gaining weight my lifts would naturally increase whether i was trying to gain strength on them or not so keep that in mind when you do try to factor in my strength gains if you do like these videos leave a comment below to let me know please go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video